What's up everyone, Howard Pinsky here with my very first Affinity Photo tutorial on my brand new YouTube channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below so you're notified when I release future videos. And now in this tutorial, we're going to be doing a little bit of photo retouching, and I'm going to show you how to change your eye color, whether it's blue or brown, using Affinity Photo. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, here we are in Affinity Photo, starting off with a model that contains blue eyes, and I'm going to show you how you can very easily change these blue eyes into green, red, purple, or whatever other color your heart desires. So the first thing that we need to do, head over to the left to our tools, and we're going to grab the elliptical marquee, and this will allow us to create a selection around each eye. So I'm going to drag out a selection just like this, doesn't have to be 100% perfect, and it's okay if it's overlapping some of the eyelid above the eye. I'm going to pop that right around there. And to create the next selection, I'm going to hold down my control key on the keyboard and drag it out just like I did before and leave it right around there. Again, it's okay if it overlaps the eyelid just a little bit. We'll deal with that in a moment. Now, I definitely don't want to leave the selection just like this because if I start applying adjustments, we're going to see very harsh lines. So I'm going to head up to the top under the select menu and then choose feather towards the bottom. And in the feather dialog box, it depends on the size of your image, but for this image, which is around 2,500 pixels wide, I'm going to set a radius of around 10 pixels. That will soften out the edges once we start applying adjustments. So now that that's done, we can start applying some adjustments. We can either go over to the right to the adjustment category, or we can simply go down to the bottom, click on the adjustments icon, and add any that we choose. For this one, I'm going to start with hue, saturation, and luminance. This will allow us to shift the hue of the color inside of the selection. But you're going to notice if I simply start shifting the hue, it looks very unnatural. So what we want to do before we even touch the hue slider is go down to blend mode and change that blend mode to color. And now when we shift the hue, we have a little bit more of a natural result. So we can change these eye colors to green, somewhere right around there. And then I'm going to decrease the saturation just a little bit, just so the eyes aren't too vivid. And I'm going to leave it right around there. Next, before I deselect the selection, I'm going to add one more adjustment, and it's going to be the shadows and highlights adjustment. And I'm not going to touch the shadows, I'm simply going to increase the highlights just a little bit to give the eyes a little bit more of a flare and a little bit of a reflection inside the center. And I'm going to close this dialog box, and then deselect my selection with Command D. Now you're going to notice, like I mentioned before, we do have a little bit of an overlap on both eyes. And we can easily deal with that using a layer mask. Now instead of editing both layer masks individually, we're actually going to group these two together. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and select the other adjustment, and then down at the bottom, I'm going to press this icon right here, which groups those two layers together. And once that's done, I can go ahead and mask the layers, and then with that mask selected, I can press the B key on my keyboard to grab the brush, and then with a nice soft black brush, simply paint over top of the area that contains a little bit of that overlap and that will hide it just like that, leaving us with our final result. Now the nice thing about using adjustments is that anytime I can go ahead and open up this group, double click on hue, saturation, luminance, and then simply shift the slider if I wanted different colored eyes. So obviously we've had blue before, but let's say I wanted darker green or orange or even purple or red, I can very easily do that. And I am noticing there's still a little bit of an overlap, so I can grab the mask at any point and use my black brush once again just to fix up those areas. So that's very quickly how to change blue eyes to green, purple, orange, or red, or any other color that you choose. But what about brown eyes? Now those are a little bit more difficult. Let's hop over to this photo here and see what we can do. I'm going to start by zooming in just a little bit so we can see what we're working with. And just like I did before, I'm going to grab the elliptical marquee from the tools to the left and drag out a selection. Now this time, just so we can see the difference, I'm not going to drag out a selection over the right eye, just the one on the left. I'm going to leave it right around there. And like the first example, I do want to feather it. So I'm going to head up to the select menu, down to feather, and then set my feather radius somewhere around 10 or 20 pixels, just like the last example. Now, because we're dealing with brown eyes, it's not necessarily as simple as adding a hue saturation adjustment and shifting the hue. What I like doing instead is adding a black and white adjustment to suck the color out of the current eye before we go ahead and apply a new color. 
Now I'm not going to make any changes to the black and white adjustment. I'm going to leave it as is and close the dialog box. And now we can go ahead and add some color. But unlike before, I'm not going to add hue, saturation, luminance. I'm actually going to add a recolor adjustment. And when we first add the recolor adjustment, it looks very unnatural. So the first thing we're going to do to make sure it looks a little bit better is set the blend mode of this one to overlay. And then we're going to decrease the saturation because right now it's way too strong. We're going to decrease it quite a bit down, let's say around 50% to start. We can always increase a little bit more later on. And then we can start shifting the hue to get the exact color that we're looking for. For this example, let's stick with a nice green, maybe blue color somewhere right around there. That looks pretty nice. And I may want to increase the saturation just a little bit more, somewhere right around 60%. Now it's looking decent, I'm going to go ahead and close that dialog box, but it does need a little bit more of a highlight. So just like in the last example, I'm going to add a shadows and highlights adjustment and simply increase the highlights just a little bit to give it a little bit extra flair just like that. And if I deselect my selection using command D, we're going to see the brand new eye color. And just like I did in the last example, I'm going to make sure to select all the adjustments, group them together, make sure to mask the layer, select the mask, and then with a soft black brush, I can go ahead and paint over top of the area that has a little bit of an overlap on the eyelid and the eyelashes, leaving us with our final result. And of course, you can do the exact same thing to the brown eye on the right. Here's the before and here's the after. Pretty natural looking. It's very difficult to get 100% natural looking when you're converting brown to blue or green or purple, but all in all, it looks pretty decent. And that will just about do it. Changing your eye color, blue or brown, using Affinity Photo. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my brand new YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below so you're notified when I release new videos. Follow me on all the social networks, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.